Well, tonight, Ogden police investigating the death of a 27-year-old school teacher. Her death initially called an accidental shooting, but detectives are still gathering clues. This evening, her friends and family cannot believe she is gone. They spoke with our new specialist, Alex Cabro, and says that she'll be missed by a lot of people. J.C. Gray Trevino loved being a part of the arts and performing world, and the Egyptian theater here in Ogden is a place she performed often. Those who saw her say she was one of the best out there, which makes having to now say goodbye even tougher. If only you knew her. She was a light to everyone. Cassie Searle has known J.C. Gray Trevino for more than a decade. I started teaching J.C. when she was a teenager at the dance studio. They stayed good friends, so when Searle heard what happened this past weekend... I'll never forget where I was and what I was doing when I heard the news. Trevino died after what police say was an accidental shooting in Ogden. Instead of focusing on how her life ended, though, Searle is remembering how Trevino lived. Everybody adored her. It's because she had a gift for make, making people feel comfortable and confident in themselves. That gift helped her to become a favorite teacher at Highland Junior High School, where she also taught art. From the very minute I saw her, she just had, she had people packed around her, so she was, she was a blessing everywhere she went. Alan Mueller was Trevino's bishop and is proud of the young girl he knew grow up to be the amazing woman she was. She was one that uh, everybody became an instant friend. She just had that personality that people loved. She had a personality that, that was non-judgmental. The stage, though, is where Trevino really found her peace, especially after her brother, Greg, drowned, trying to save her when she went under the water as a teenager. Her friends say it seemed like she always danced for him. He didn't want to let him down, and I think she exceeded his expectations. Trevino was only 27 years old, but that was enough time to make the kind of impact on others Searle hopes to continue. I think the only thing to be done is try and live my life in that way and try and continue the light that she left on the world because it needs to stay. The manager of the Egyptian theater here even told me that JC just lit up a room and she will be missed. There was a GoFundMe set up to help cover funeral costs. We are putting a link to that on our website version of the story at kslTV.com.